left with closing remarks and recommendation with Dr. Amir Muhammad. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. And, and uh, with that, we have uh, finally concluded uh, with our last talk for uh, this year's InfoSec. And I hope you found the talks and the discussions as insightful and motivating as I did. Um, before you leave, however, I would like to ask for a bit of your time just to uh, g reflect on some of the important uh, lessons and recommendations uh, that we hope we can follow through uh, given the talks that we uh, looked at today. So uh, I'm just going to go quickly over them. Basically, these are the recommendations that uh, we saw based on the lessons and the talks that we've seen. Uh, the first being that we, we should invest in building the next generation of cybersecurity leaders uh, by developing s skills and expanding on effective pathways uh, for well-paying jobs and uh, in the market. Uh, the second recommendation is that we want to make sure that we support periodic comprehensive assessments of the level of cybersecurity maturity and the resilience in the public and the private sectors. Uh, and thirdly, we want to make sure that we promote societal awareness. We want to you know, we want to make sure that people know uh, what the ethical and professional conduct should be in the cyber world. Uh, the fourth recommendation is with regards to continuous and iterative process of improvement uh, by introducing and developing cybersecurity into services and products throughout the life cycle of that product. Not at the beginning and not just at the end, but throughout the life cycle. And uh, fifth, we want to make sure that we continue enhancing the capabilities and the flexibility necessary for cyber resilience at the national level. We want to make sure that it's well-founded and well-structured uh, based on the standards that we've seen throughout the, the uh, conference. Uh, and the sixth recommendation is we want to make sure that there is joint efforts between local, regional, and international that allow us to collaborate with each other in such a way that would allow for mutual beneficence. Uh, the seventh recommendation, again, is with regards to research. We want to make sure that we have enough funding and enough support for research and scholarly activities so that we can continue developing and uh, testing uh, best practices. The eighth recommendation is with regards to having and implementing a rigorous cybersecurity framework. We've seen already NIST cybersecurity framework, so why not we apply this uh, here as well uh, throughout our organizations in the government and in the private sector. And Finally, we want to make sure that we have all our legislators be up to date with the new cybersecurity issues and the uh, associated with the new technologies that we have seen throughout this talk. So, and with that, on behalf of the program committee and on behalf of Kuwait University, I would like to uh, extend my thanks to all the speakers who joined us today all the panelists and the, all the participants who made this event possible. Uh, thank you to all the administrative and technical staff for streamlining the event. And finally, we thank all the attendees uh, for joining us. And uh, see you next year for even more and hopefully even more interesting talks as well. Thank you so much. <laughs>